Welcome back to Super Tuesday Recap. This is Chris, uh, Jeff, Deepom, and Shanna, and we are here to review, finally, it's been a while, uh, the last four episodes of The Gifted. Uh, so we're starting with episode 10, we're going all the way through 13, so that's um, Enemy of My Enemy, Memento, A Home, and Tempted, or as Deepom's been saying for the last few weeks now, is we're just going to call this Deepom's Right. Mm, but are we though are we okay cool cool no do that no take take, take that tone that's great mm-hmm. yep <laughs> uh like um we should just go out and, and just just deal with this right now um yo jace turns a fucking super villain is jace gone now y'all here okay say, y'all. <laughs> Wait, hold on hold on don't say y'all Bob. you know who you talking to Direct it to who you're talking to. No, no, no. Uh, this is, and guess what? Guess what? On this shit, I'm Magneto. You with me or against me? Uh, nigga, I mean, it starts off okay in episode 10, but he was like pumping, pumping bullets and, and slugs into fucking John's chest. Then he literally, <laughs> like, come on, y'all. The, 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 but the one that th- th- did it for me, when, when that black mutant said to him, when he was like, yo, why are you running? My grandfather, my, my grandfather didn't need an excuse to run from the clan. Yours didn't either. And Jay tried to couple couple plea like I mean we're not the clan we're, it's not about hate and then turned around and lied on his about his boy Chris, shooting Chris, that cop Chris, come on dog what are we doing what yeah, are we doing thank you what are we doing thank you he gone he can't come back okay. you can't come back from that you can't come back from that but, Shannon, but throw no away thing. throw away the whole bigot he's got <laughs> mutant face he's got mutant face photos in his yearbooks bro <laughs> <laughs> he. Throw away the whole thing. He has Let's pictures go. with blue fur. He's wearing blue fur. His <laughs> culture is not your costume. Let's go. You're the no. worst. Um, here's, here's my problem. Here's my problem. And it's not that I'm defending Jace. It sounds like about the de- I, I, I'm going to you right now. Uh, nope. as, the, as, as the owner and, 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 and member and president of uh, villain, the vil- villain agenda. Uh, I do not back whatever Shannon's about to say right here. So, no, no. you know who doesn't? You know who doesn't have to say? I, I'm not about to defend them. People who aren't about to defend them, but but do you? Go ahead. So here's my thing, and I just want to say this because it is it is really sad, and it keeps hurting my feelings. And this show keeps doing it to me. Is that Jace has these moments? He has these moments where he is listening and he is hearing people, and then. Because of the circumstances of this show, the thing that he has just like started to buy into becomes the opposite. So like when they had John and John was like trying to reason with him and John was like, yeah, there's this thing. It's the inner circle. And Andy and Lorna left us for the inner circle. And he was like, oh, shit, that makes sense. Right. But then, of course. Andy and fucking Lorna show up to save John (laughs) because that's their friend. So like, he doesn't know that it's just for this moment that they've like brokered a truce in order to save John. He's just like, oh, John lied to me. Like again, someone lied to me, they deceived me. And I'm not saying that that is an excuse for anything that Jace does, but it is super fucking frustrating as a viewer to see this. No, it's not. No, it's not. Did you see uh, the way he kissed that mutant girl in that movie? He can't be. He can't be a bigot. Oh my god! <laughs> no, can I, can really? I tell really? You? Are you using the Liam Neesons against me? Are you? Are you defending Liam? I am not defending Liam. I'm also no, not Jay, defending. He's trying to walk around with hatred in his heart towards any mutants. Dude, when that when the black kid brought up the clan, I thought that was deep palm. In another yeah. <laughs> that was D Pop. That was the that was D Pop's conscience speaking to Jace. And he he had no he was he, the, trying um, to save him. he was the Alonzo morning meme when he's just taking up the bench <laughs> like he was like, Yo, you, you got a point. Like he he that was the big joker. Like the dude, like he had nothing else to say. Then he hears the gun go <laughs> off. I, I will say this. Jace Jace had a conflict of like race versus hate in his heart when, because he saw what happened and you could tell he's like yo you really pulled a stand your ground on this mutant kid he, he, said the the word. he saw it yeah and he said it when he copped the plea 
Like, that's how I know they're, they're, episode 11 was it. If I had any, and it was like at 5% at most, it's gone. Don't, like, I don't felt know. That, that, that reaction. This is, very, this that, is not a, a dull line. It's a clear line, my friend. No, no, it, it isn't. It isn't because when, okay. he, when he said, um, I walked in. He 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 lunged at him and he stared his ground. Yo, that visceral reaction I had. I'm just looking at the screen. Yo, right. I, are you fucking in kidding throat. me? Bile in my throat. Oh, that hurt. And, and, and this and, is and, one of the and, best and, things about this show. You get those reactions mm-hmm. in this mutant world, and that's what this whole mutant, uh, this whole mutant universe has been predicated on is that that prejudice where someone who who comes from a background that's been marginalized and a, mm-hmm. and oppressed for centuries would flip because there's someone lower than them to oppress. And, and, and I well, love I'm the fact that this show actually uh, addresses that because that's one of the issues that I have with um, Supergirl. Um, and it's one of the few issues that I have with Supergirl. But we've talked about the fact that they do the same thing where they'll have people of color being anti-alien. But like nobody ever goes like, hey, black man, why are you anti-alien? <laughs> and I like that this show just called it out. Yeah, well, I also, and I also like the fact that they, they made Jace make the decision to lie, right? It wasn't one of those things of, like, you know, Wilson comes in and says, oh, no, I mean, he, he lunged at me. You know, it's, you know, um, it, it, they made Jace have to be the one to tell that other, that black woman cop, which I think is also <clears throat> another thing that made it, like, just the good, the good visuals on the optics of it. Telling and made him tell the story to her because she's looking at him like, I mean, I want to hear your story. Are you trying to? I mean, she's like waiting for him to say, It's like, oh no, he shot that kid in, in cold blood. Like, she's waiting for him to say that and she gives him the out. And and Jace looks over at her at, 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 at Wilson, the cop car, and goes, No, I came. And he made it, he made up an entire lie. He didn't even go on something yeah. like, I didn't see it. Oh, I, I think this is what I heard. He made up an entire lie of he saw that kid lunging at Wilson and you know, you know what happened? I was I was the black kid who called him out and Shannon was the, the, the cop trying to let him tell the truth. <laughs> that was just telling what happened. <laughs> Shannon she was like, just don't disappoint me. And then <laughs> as she sweet. watched him lie, you saw her face fall. Like, yeah. I know you're lying. Yeah. Well, the other oh. thing well, here's the thing you can about Jay's. Here's, here's how you know I Jay's really can't stand you, just so you know. <laughs> But 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 really, here's how you know Jace is gone. J- you knew Jace was gone because before that, before before Wilson, you know, kind of asked him to lie for him, like he was losing Wilson because Wilson was like, "Hey, bro, um, look, I'm a bigot. I'm big into this purifier shit. Um, but you might need to calm it down a bit. Like when you when you know you're far, you're you're too far into villainry. When the other villains go, hey man, you're making the rest of us look bad. <laughs> like you're you're being too evil." Like he didn't even want to go to the shelter, right? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't want. He didn't want. Uh, the other guy didn't want to go to the thing. He was like, he looked at him shooting up. John was like, "Yo, dude, you said we got to keep him alive. What are you doing?" It's like he lied oh, to me. Oh, are, 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 are we are we talking about this now, Shanna? Your man shot your man's. Repeat. It. <laughs> wow. What are we gonna do here? And then, keep in mind, we've got about twenty minutes. Of you defended him already. So you just tell me now where the line is. In terms of him shooting John, I, I can't imagine that so well with you. Um, I look. I was not <sighs> here. I was not here for it. I was not here for Jace okay. at all. It like he he but, has, but the circumstances of the show pushed him there. No, it's not the circumstances <laughs> of the show pushed him there. I'm just saying that it it hurts my heart every single time. <laughs> it's like how they. It, it's like how they had. Clarice and John get back together after John got taken and I was like okay beautiful we're back we're good we're back in love and then they broke them up like two episodes later and I just don't understand why this show is built to hurt me that's what I'm saying <laughs> because they're X-Men and they're, there's no happy ending here that's a, that's a fact. There, there's no happy ending here like nothing everything is horrible everything goes wrong here like guys the like, world is actually horrible can this show just not be nice to me i don't understand. you're watching the wrong show you're watching the wrong show if you want that i was thinking about I mean, to be fair to be fair you also look the other way when when jace is jace got those Thank memories you. put Thank back you. in his head 
by and by your man's he's, old he's girlfriend. He's giving this motherfucker so much rope. Oh you yeah, did, look the yeah. other way. Like, oh yeah, no, look, you look, did. I I was I was good when Jace was just a regular good old X Men villain. He's now X Men super villain. This is different. <laughs> Like I, I, got, I, I have a villain Nimrod. agenda. This nigga is Nimrod. Thank you. He's Nimrod. He's Ahab. He's here to hunt, literally hunt mm-hmm. mutants. And now he's doing it. He doesn't even know why he's doing it because now he's gonna be so tortured because this hate is gonna give him his wife back. Oh, I, I was just about to bring that up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my That's, god. His that wife that is was... not coming back to him, and he needs to let that shit mm-hmm. go. No, she was. Oh, no, she, she, she was. She's what he means. They have to. She, he's convinced her, even as he's being unconvinced himself, allegedly. Oh. Um, I'm so sad that I lied about that kid dying. Like, what are you talking about? These yeah. fake crocodile ass tears in the, in the hotel. I hated that shit. Yeah, yo, no, I, I I loved it though. I loved I loved the fact that his wife, after after ignoring all his texts, after like, I think at one point wasn't it like she was using her lawyer to send the papers? Yeah, and the order. Yeah, she was all this stuff. So she she calls him right after he lied on that on on his his purifier boy. Killing that mutant kid in cold blood, talking about some. Well, no, I'll see you now. And oh, you sound like you need you need somebody to, to talk to. And I'm like, oh, uh, and, and that's why he got. It's like all of a sudden, it's his lies and his villainy is what's going to get him his wife back. And he didn't like what he looked at, but he's going to do it. He's not going to stop. Gonna do it like every villain. time, like like I had a hope. I had hope for Jace in like season one. We were like, all right, cool. Maybe Jace don't will turn we, around, but then when, 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 no, when the, when the Frost, when the Frost twins, uh, a triplets took, took down them, I was like, Jace is gone. He ain't coming back after that. Like that was, that was it. He was, you almost, you almost convinced him. You almost got him back on our side of being like the guy on the inside who, you know, you can, you, you know, was against mutants, but now it's kind of like there's like their, their, their ally. Nope. Once, once, once the, uh, once the Frost uh, triplets took, took down that and all of his signal services people, when he was trying to help them, that's what it is. It's now pure revenge. He doesn't care about anything else. He's not even, that's what makes him the worst purifier. He's not even really a true believer. He's the worst kind. He's the kind that has, he's rallied them around. Like, uh, Wilson was already upset because he was like, yo, I started this purifier chapter. What are you doing? Like, he's taken over that chapter. <laughs> He's become good at this shit. Like he's he's the best at what he does, and that is killing mutants and capturing mutants. It's like he's he yeah he's you know what you know what I realize he is he's evil Cory Booker. I hate you so much. <laughs> he's evil Cory Booker. How are you? He's How over are you here. Like this? He's over here. Over here. You know. <laughs> Trying to fit in and, and, and convincing people to get on his side and to vote for him and make, yeah, mm-hmm. I want everyone I want everyone listening to realize that everyone's like suddenly trying to take my side in this argument for the last three episodes. I just and I would also like to point I don't out- appre- I don't appreciate these Johnny come lately is my point of view. And I just want to get that verbalized right now. Look, just be happy somebody agrees with you for once. Anyway, how are you just gonna call him Cory Booker because they're both light skinned? That's rude. And bold. <laughs> And, and you know, play Corey you know how the light skins get in their feelings. I'm right. just yeah. like, and, I'm and, just, I would like and to he, and, apologize and, in advance to and the like light skins. Je- well, je- Every, Jeff everybody said. relax. Everybody relax, please. We we don't need we don't need to take this anywhere. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> need to go. I am not my complexion. I am no, a human being. Uh, I'm gonna say, but Jeff, <laughs> oh my goodness, that, no. that was the, I wasn't even gonna say that. We first of all, we have a light skin here, so it's okay, right? It's, it's fine, right? It's okay, but no, no, wow. he's like, oh, but, but, that works, but, Liam. Neeson. Look at the light skin over there. Right, look right, at right, him. Right, right, yeah. Right. No, I we you know some oh my, my some, some of my best some of my best <laughs> podcast friends like are, I once made out with the light skin. Hey, no, I you know you know I've dated light skin before some of my best some of my best part uh podcasting hosts co-hosts are light-skinned so i'm just saying i can't be i can't be light-skinned racist uh oh. but you're right um he will play cory booker in a movie i'm just he's saying going to play cory booker this is why like wow wow <laughs> he's like he's, he's evil either cory him or richard jefferson mm, mm, yeah richard jefferson too tall man that's about a point that's about a point that's about that's true point. Like, richard jefferson's like awkward tall like he's like six eight like richard jefferson's way too tall yeah, that's true. You can't have, you can't have a cast around him. You have green screen his entire performance. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it, Joe. Yeah. What? I'm trying to make it work now. I'm trying to be helpful. That's called being solutions oriented, Shannon. Just saying. Oh, yeah. just saying. Yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 we're, we're laughing, but like, watch if this show continues. Watch Jace like run for run for office or some shit like that. Like he's 
he's going down that path. Yeah, like he's Jace is great in Keith Creed, man. No, no, I mean he is. Like Jace makes a great villain because one, mm-hmm. he, he's got he's sympathetic. You, you get that sympathy, you're like, well, you know, he's he's almost he's almost convincing that he's on your side. Like when he was talking to John, we're like, oh well, you know, he's still not going too far. He's not crossing the line. He's captured John. He's listening to John. You know, all this, and then as soon as he feels like he's betrayed, what does he do? He grabs a fucking shotgun and shoots John, who's, t- who's not going anywhere, three times in the chest. It's like, no, he's a fucking sociopath. Like, Jace is gone. Like, he is a, he is a great <laughs> X-Men villain. Great X-Men villain. But does not qualify for uh, uh, a villain agenda. I'm sorry. He doesn't. We cannot save this man. No, 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 no. He cannot be saved. He, and I don't even. The other thing too. The, the other reason why he doesn't qualify for for villain agenda is he's just about revenge. Like he doesn't. There is no other like statement that he's. Uh, here's, here's the the one wrinkle about him right now, and I think that's really interesting that they've added to the character. Even though I've hated him for a long time, he knows he's wrong. Mm-hmm. He incontrivably knows he's wrong, but he can't stop. But he can't stop. Yeah, this train. Yeah. Hey, this train's moving. You're, he's, you're, he's, 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 right now, he's caught up. Like, like, he's been wrong, and he's been wrong, but now he's looking back at what he's done. Like, yo, I was wrong, wrong. Yeah. But there's nothing he can do. Every, he's lost too much. Every time he gets... He's, he's in too deep. Every time he gets yep. a chance to, to... He crosses a line, and every time he gets a chance to stop from crossing the line and crossing the next, the next line that's, that's further down, he does it. Like, every not, fucking yeah, time. No, the thing is, he's not making mistakes he's actively making the wrong decisions yeah like the, the, the one with the kid and that's what makes him a villain because he no it doesn't no better do better he's not that well, well, <laughs> he well, knows well, better well, well think about this in, in in episode 10 he 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 he, he, get, he goes off on john shoots john right in episode 11 is the one with the kid right so even in that episode when they he, you see him going all reckless he's running in there then when the kid says no my daddy didn't run from the from the clan Next, thing you, next time you see him, he's sitting down, he's having a conversation with the kid, he's reasoning with him, he's talking to him, you're like, all right, maybe Jason's calmed down, then Wilson shoots the other kid, and you see Jason gets another opportunity, and like, every time he gets a chance to reset, he goes further down, he crosses another line, like, every fucking time, and it's like, and I think, again, that's what makes his character so compelling, because you, when he's not, when, when he's not crossing that line, you're like, Okay, but he's kind of being reasonable right here. Maybe he's gonna realize that that he doesn't have to keep going. Oh no, no, no! He just did it again. He did it again. Like it's just, it, I love the way they've written his character and the way they've done it. Like it, it, it makes it makes you not want to hate him, but he, you gotta hate him. You got to. Got he's to. very hateable. Yeah, I mean, the, what, awesome. what, he, what he did in episode eleven is just like I, no, I don't give a shit what he does. There's nothing he can do. The only thing he can redeem himself in is death. Oh my god! That's true. No, I'm I'm dead serious. At this point, he has to die to. Well, he's save gonna sacrifice himself trying to save John or some shit. Just say, no, no, not just John. He, to sacrifice himself to save the entire mutant underground. Like that is the only way for Jason. Yeah. No, I, and I'm not even being. He's gonna blow up the cure. He's got to. Like at this point, that is the only redeemable thing for Jace right now because he's crossed too many lines. He's and and again, it's not that he's done it by accident. He has willingly crossed these lines in season two. Like he is a member, and and, I, and again, I love the optics of what they do. Now, this is why I love the X Men. I love that them basically saying, "Yo, the Purifiers are a hate group." You know, they they are a hate group. He has joined a hate group. He has joined the equivalent of the KKK. And oh, I'm sorry, not just joined it. He is running it. <laughs> he's yep. and, he, and, he, and he's buddied up with the the Grand Wizard of the KKK. You know. That Bill O'Reilly, oh, what was the dude? Harper? Where the fuck that Ryan? dude's name is? Oh. Yeah. F John him. Ryan. F him yeah. so Ryan much. Tucker? Yeah, Benedict, Benedict, Benedict Ryan. He's basically, he's buddy buddied up with Benedict Ryan. So that's basically, you know, the, the David Duke of the Purifiers. And, 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 and uh, Jace has a direct line to him. So yeah, death is the only way that Jace can redeem himself at this point because there's nothing else he can do. This isn't like with, um, you know, with uh, uh, Reed and, and, and Kate, you know, at the beginning of this uh, uh, of season one, where they're like, "All right, cool." They're they're kind of bigoted. They're, I mean, no, no, not even kind of. They were bigoted. 
but they kind of like earn their their way back at that time. Like he can't. Like there's nothing Jace can do. Like he just like he did something that even if that kid wasn't a mutant is unforgivable. And as a black, you're a black officer talking to another black officer, letting this white cop who just shot an unarmed kid in cold blood, knowing that the kid was in the chair. Yo, he's gone. Done. Uh, actually, quick caveat. He's not an officer. He is not an official Yo, you're right. in any way. Yeah, he lost his job. Which, which also, <laughs> also would, is another fucked up thing, too. About- can I just say one thing I'm happy that they did? Was that they did not have the guy shoot the black kid. They had him shoot the white kid. Like, is that the, that's like the only thing I can say about this whole situation that made me happy. Cause I was like, I don't think I could have on top of it taken it if they had shot the little uh, yeah, black kid. That's a good point. I, I think they did. <laughs> that's a real good I think, point. Cause I, they didn't have to lean on the eat that the black trauma aspect was a low hanging fruit, but you still got nuance with it. And background right. with that one little interaction. That's all you needed. They didn't have to go full trauma. But yeah, but, but that's why I, I just love needed this, that. But that's why I love the <laughs> show, right? That was that was clearly done on purpose. They clearly made that decision on purpose, knowing that if they, they that it's a sense of time. And there's a lot of that in this. I think there's a lot of that in these four episodes where they do a lot of these things where they they touch on some sensitive topics and um. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy that. Like I said, I, I think it was uh, optic wise. It was, it was important to have them shoot the white kid, not the black kid to have a black woman as an officer interrogating Jace and Jace, you know, lying to her face and, and, and yeah, all of that. I think all of that was done, done on purpose. It was all, uh, um, it done beautifully well. Um, last thing, and then we can move on to other things that happened because there's a lot of stuff happening in these four episodes. Um, also, want to point out that you know you're right. Jace is not an officer working for the purifiers, but apparently the purifiers have enough credibility that the cops don't even like. He's like the right. like she said. She was like, no, no, I know, I know. You guys were here for it. Like, like it, like it, she was kind of annoyed by it, but it wasn't like it was what they were doing was illegal. They rolled up on an orphanage. <laughs> like, are you fucking serious right now? Well, didn't they didn't they allude to them having people at all levels, like somewhere yep. somewhere later in the show that they they've infiltrated when, um, uh, when they all, go to, when they right. go to her uh, her brother for help. But right. I think that's yeah. But uh, is that is that the purifiers and the in the inner circle though? I think it's both of them. Because the way they I said because the when she because when she mentioned because uh, her brother uh, case uh, case brother said that when he mentioned Reva, that's when they basically had him arrested. So I don't know. You're you're right. It's something. It's something weird going on. Obviously, that we find out between Reva and and the inner, and 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 the purifiers, and it's like it's one of those things. Uh, we know what it is. They're they they're both trying, basically trying for a race war. Mm-hmm. Right. Because each side thinks they can win it. So isn't you know I'm thinking about it now. Isn't that kind of like how in like pre civil rights. When if a black person did something in some area, they'd round up a posse and shit and they may kill him or hang him or lynch him or whatever. But the cops would kind of be like, well, he was a criminal like they they would they were willingly look the other way. Yeah. If that type of stuff happened, maybe that's a um, maybe that's like a court. There's a correlation between those two. And that's kind of what they're getting at, because otherwise dude did say, yo, you didn't have no jurisdiction. Just said, yeah, we're former cops. They said former. And dude was like, all right, you got it. Like, like, one, real. I mean, really what it is, is that at the end of the day, it comes down to nobody cares about mm-hmm. mutants. So they're letting the like, it's so interesting to me that their whole reason for doing all this is like mutants. Um, there's no one to police them. They're, they're like, we you know, the, like, mutants have powers and there's no one to stop them but us. But it's like, uh, y'all be out here killing mutants with impunity. Mutants do not kill people without getting some sort of consequences. But y'all just be doing whatever the fuck y'all want. But even even outside of that, think about how r- ridiculous that is, right? You have Sentinel services, which, from what all of them purposes seems to only exist to regulate, hunt down, and, and prosecute and, and, and arrest mutants, right? And these basically hicks with pickup trucks, uh, hateful flags, and shotguns think only we can... Only we can really 
stop the mutant threat. Like, that's how ridiculous it is, right? That what they're saying is just, it, it, like, again, the, the, that, that kid, when he said it's like, yo, I didn't, you know, my granddaddy didn't need a reason to run from the clan. Like, that summed it up right there. They're the clan. The purifiers are the clan. They are the clan. And this is like, um, you know, you know, when, when, you know, before the Civil Rights Act and sometimes even afterwards, where the clan, because even today, the clan still runs some of these towns out here. Where if you're a black person, you're in that town, like the Klan is the law. At this point, some of the, the, the purifiers are the law. And we're seeing that the purifiers are, they're increasing their, their, uh, uh, um, their membership. And it goes back to what we talked about in the last, uh, the last time we did this review, where, he, again, it's why Jace, to me, is such, so dangerous. He was able to talk to that group of those people that came in. It was like grandfathers. It was, it was like, it was, it was, it was mothers. It was like regular, like uh, it looked like a PTA meeting, and Jace is talking to them, convincing them to join the purifiers. Like that's what makes Jace such a ta- such a terrifying villain, because he seems like you can you he can relate, he can relate to these people, and oh yeah yeah it's oof, yeah. Jace gone. Jace gone. Uh, speaking of people gone, um, I had in my notes after episode ten. Uh, cause first of all, first of all, uh, it was good to see the band back together for one night only. Uh, we got, we got, uh, you playing know, all the hits. Yeah. Playing all the hits. You know, we got Annie and Lauren just walking through purif- purifiers, which was beautiful. They were just, Oh you know. my God. Oh my God. Lauren. I, I just love getting stronger and stronger. Lauren. She is my favorite right now. She just be straight Millie rocking on people with her powers. I love her. Uh, she's scaring the shit out of me, but we'll get to that later. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you just gotta embrace it. Just hit hit him with that milli rock. Mm, mm, we need mm. to find out if her last name is Castle. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's all I'm saying. She, she, I'm, she has that look. Mm. She has that look. <laughs> um, we had uh uh, Lor- uh Lorna and and and, and Marcos together. Like they worked like a, a pretty well oiled machine to to kind of get John out. And then you quickly realize that, uh, yeah, and Andy's also gone. Like, Andy ain't coming back. So the Lorna and Marco thing was great because they opened with that flashback of the three of them. Like, when Lorna and Marcos first got together and John, and you're just like, oh, family, they love each other. And then they were like, we're going to go and save our friend and all this. Was just, so it was just, like, so lovely that they all came together to save John. Yeah. That was actually my favorite thing. But, and, and, I, and, and I love what they and did. And it all went to hell. Well, I love what they did with the last, the next four episodes with this. Cause you see that Lorna kind of realizes she's made a mistake in, um, and, and that she's, she's on the wrong side. Whereas Andy is still f- full in. Like Andy's to the point where he's trying to recruit his sister in. And um, you see, no, he's not trying to recruit. He's trying to brainwash her in, which is worse. No, 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 no. The frost, the frost, the frost are trying to brainwash her. Andy thinks Andy, because here's the thing: Andy dumb. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So Andy very, thinks Andy Andy very, thinks very dumb. Yeah, Andy thinks he's just convincing his sister to come with him. He doesn't understand. He doesn't see the things that Lorna sees. Which is why Andy's still kind of dangerous, because Andy's dumb. Like Lorna is kind of, kind of almost broken through. Like it, it was so funny because um, uh, uh, when she was talking to Andy, when Andy went to her, it was like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm trying to convince Lorna. I, I think I'm convincing Lauren, to, uh, Lauren to come, uh, to join us and stuff like that. And he was like, and, and the the the, uh, the Frost are going to help me. And she was like, well, you know, they can't make you. They can't make someone join the cause they don't really believe. And I was like. I kind of did it to you, though. <laughs> um, but then I guess in the back of my mind... Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, I, but then it also made me think, it's like, well, I, I think what it really was is, like, what all they did... that the, the, Lauren, and, and they kind of explained it when she was talking to, to Mark a little bit, Lauren's kind of always had this belief. When she had this child, she always wanted to be, you know, with her, the, their child, and Mark, with Dawn and Marcus, right? They, that's, they, wanted, they wanted a safe space, so... All really, the, the, while the Frost did convince her of this mutant homeland thing, it was really more kind of bringing her own feelings to the surface. And with Andy, they didn't really do that because Andy is just a young, dumb kid with hormones. Um, so it's going to be interesting seeing. So what they're doing with, with um, even what they're doing with 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 Lauren, with Lauren 
they're also giving her not this idea of a mutant home uh, home uh, home world or 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 uh, home nation. They're kind of giving having her give into this feeling of how she feels when her and Andy use her power together. So it's like I I think that whatever they're using the way the Frost are convincing uh, people to join them is just to give them what basically what their deepest desires are and bring that to the forefront. So Lorna always wanted th- this, 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 I, this, this thing here, but what she's now seeing is she wants this, but not the way Reva's doing it, which is how she's able to kind of get the separation. Andy is just, he's just happy that three hot girls will look over him while he's sleeping. His dick is not his. You don't die. Come on, dog. They watched him while he was sleeping. I'm just saying. Oh, Come on. Andy. Um, can I just say that I, while I am happy that Lorna has come to her senses, I, every single time Lorna or Andy is like, do you think what we're doing is right? I legit want to punch them in their faces. Like, really? Now? Now is when it all kicks in that maybe it's not all right? I mean... I I understand that more than the Jace. <laughs> I mean, you gotta think. I mean, because I mean, you got you gotta look at what they're dealing with and everything they've gone through. It's like it makes sense. Like they're both of them have both of them went through some shit growing up, and now with the idea of you know a mutant homeworld, and then with with Andy, Andy always got picked on. So when that when that dude that purifier tried to shoot his sister. I'm not gonna lie, like I wasn't mad that he broke those legs. I wasn't mad. It's like kinda Christopher. What? <laughs> he deserved this, it. This you all see why I'm right. Everyone listening just knows you know where I stand on torture. Um and yeah, this is just another example of me being the 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 somehow the shining light of goodness on this podcast. Wait, it wasn't torture. <laughs> it wasn't torture. It was punishment. Okay, Chris. It was okay, punishment. Chris. It was punishment. That was not okay. <laughs> just, I just want to say. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, you guys, the, wait, wait. And yeah. now, yeah, yeah, the yeah. agendas will collide. Yeah, no, no, no. Here's, here's, here's what, here's what I have to. Add. So it is wrong for Andy to break the legs of basically the KKK. Yes. Really. That. <laughs> he was a, uh, uh, and, that and was, he that was combat, off. man. Yeah, Andy went off. I'm sorry. That was he, he shot at them. The dude shot at them. The dude shot at them. The happened. I mean, I mean, I, I can't blame him. Thank you. I can't blame Thank you. him. I, I, I cannot it, blame him. He was not him. right, right but I understand. Right, he right, was not right. right. But I That's, understand. Listen, as being as somebody who has been out with friends, they get into a fight. You got to fight for them, and then you go back after and tell them how stupid they are. I can fully empathize with him doing a stupid move. That you 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 fight for in 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 the beginning, and you recognize how stupid it was after the fact. Well, but well, given well, everything well, they've been through, I mean, yeah, he snapped. He snapped. Just, 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 just so he we're clear, snapped. just just so we're clear. So nobody, and some people might listen to our reviews, and not watch the show. This is a purifier who these these are the groups that were holding, you know, John. Who was bleeding from the chest because Jace shot him three times in the chest as he was sitting there? Uh, this one purifier dude came after them. After they were leaving, they had their backs to him. They were leaving. This dude decided to shoot at uh, at at Andy's sister, so Andy broke his legs. And Andy would was going to break more than his legs if his family had not stopped him. It, it, Anybody Wait, that, who's reading a Mortal Hulk right that, now would probably wrong. understand. Yes, why yes, I am, and yes, like, I do. They, why, why, why? I'm just like, ah. Would that have been wrong? Ah. Ah. I'm just saying. I look like, the other way. Andy, he, they pulled them off Andy the went too. He went too hard in the paint, and I'm glad that Lauren and and the rest of the family kept their senses. Mm. Maybe one leg, not two. Mm. The first leg, and it's like, I right, chill, 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 chill. We gotta go. The second one is like, oh, now, you, now you're OD. Now I can't even justify it. Yo, you can't, there are lines. I'm sorry. There's lines. There's like, the first leg is, is you'll never do it today. The second one is now you've made like an enemy for life. Because he's going to remember that forever. But he won't yeah, shoot no more mutants. He'll he won't shoot no more mutants. He'll create pro- Charles Xavier. Oh, so, oh, <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. So maybe he should have just killed 
He won't shoot no more mutants, though. So, win-win. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> saying. Just saying, you know. Now, that's... See, and he's... In that, in that situation, that's a villain agenda. I can go with that one. I can, I'll take no, that. We all saw. We were all there. We all watched it happen. We know. <laughs> Andy be doing too much, y'all. I'm sorry. Too the much. most. Oh well, because he's, again, he's young and dumb. He's young. He's young, dumb, and, and naive. And he, feel, and he still fucked up from killing that girl. Yep. And, and, and full and, of sperm. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, when <laughs> uh, I, I can only assume that the, uh, like uh, was it all three of them, all three of the the frost that ran to his room when he when he, when uh after uh 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 Lauren kicked his ass in in the dreams. <laughs> They all ran right into his room. It was like, yo, like, he's kind of living the dream right now. He's got three triplets that run into his room at, at the first sign of him saying anything. It's like, yeah, he is not thinking uh, with his brain right now. He's not. He's just, yeah. Yeah, no. Not good. Not good at all. Um, uh, I'm really interested in seeing what they're doing with uh Lauren and and her digging more into this this box and what uh their that would be, what is that was that their not their great what what are, what were the original uh friend Fender's twins to her is it like their great 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 grin no it's just her great grandparents they're okay. her father's grandparents okay his father's parents okay i could i can remember i can remember where the, in the line they were right. so um well i guess it's parent of uh, uh, parent and then well parent and then aunt then right because they, well, yeah. they were they were twins uh, it's an incest thing uh well they didn't say that but you're right it, it could be i mean i i, I read yeah it's, it's an incest thing it's a whole thing i don't i'm wondering if they're not gonna go there though are they i think they're there oh hmm. Oof. i can't put it past the show so, yeah, mm, that's gonna be oof. that's that, those are some family secrets you don't want coming up again. But um, no, but I'm, I am interested in seeing where they go with with you know her kind of going into darkness and what 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 it is with the the song and the um and and what exactly is in the box that's making her kind of give into this darkness. Um, and I'm I'm really interested in seeing where they where they're going with this aspect of it because. Oh, to this point, you know, Lauren's been kind of the, the safe one, right? The smart one, right? She's been the one that we kind of, we don't have to really worry about. Now I'm really worried about her because it now makes me think that, you know, we, we always thought that, you know, Andy was the dark one. But what if it comes out that it's really Lauren? They're both dark. No, that's true, and too. remember, um, I think it was too. when she used her powers last year. The big thing was that she was like, I, I, she enjoyed it more than Andy. After using their powers, Andy was like, oh shit, like this is real. And Lauren was like, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> so, well, you gotta remember that, 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 that they're inheriting these powers, but the legacy they're inheriting is not a benevolent one. Mm-hmm. True. So the, the word that Box is not tied to good things. It's not like the charitable von Struckers. <laughs> <laughs> they were the, they were the Wayne, the Wayne fam, the German Wayne's family. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's not quite how this goes down. No, not, not exactly. Well, it's <laughs> also nice. They're always holding um, in. <laughs> the um the the story of the Earl King that the the that the box is playing. Um, so generally a lot of those German fairy tales and like the Earl King and the Elf King, like those kinds of things are almost always about changelings, which are, uh, like usually it's like a baby, um, that is taken and then they like leave behind some sort of like changeling or demon. So it's almost always about like fighting to get back a, a stolen child or fighting to um or like realizing that the child you have is not actually a human anymore it's a demon so i think it's interesting that both of them seem to be going through this kind of this changing and lauren lauren is the one who's fighting it the hardest and that's why she's having the hardest time yeah yeah and i you know what? And her mother is not being helpful. 
Oh, mom. See, mom has always been a problem because she wants Andy, she wants their family re- reunited by any means necessary. <laughs> Yo, the, when they were in the car in, the, in episode 10, and 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 Reed and 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 Kate are all like, "Oh, look at you, you've grown so much!" And Lauren, you can just see Lauren just sitting over this stewing, like they're really, like they have been so focused on getting. And like to to give Reed some credit, Reed's kind of under kind of noticing, like, "Yo, something's wrong. Some you're focusing too much on getting Andy back." But Kate just hasn't realized this, and to the point that she's literally now encouraging, she's encouraging Lauren to go down this dark path. Oh no, she needs to be prepared. She needs to give in. She needs to use these powers because we need this. And I'm like, oh, this is not the encouragement. Well, hold on. So, okay, we say it's a dark path, but I think this is almost the, the schism argument, Cyclops and Wolverine. Is it time for her to be a student? Is it time to be a, a, a soldier? Oh, no, 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 They're, no. I, I think it's different, though. I, I think it's different. Is it? She needs to train. She needs to be able to defend us. She, she, she needs to be able to do these things because guess what? This is the wartime. It's open season. Like Shannon already said, they're killing mutants in the streets. This isn't the time to say, be docile, don't use your powers, don't learn how to defend yourself. No, no, I agree with you. I, but circumstances I don't, I, dictate actions. But the circumstances I, right now is open war. But I don't think that's what Kate's argument is. Kate's not saying it for that reason. Kate is, I, 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 so I think you're right. I, I, I absolutely agree that, you know, uh, uh, Lauren should be encouraged to use her powers and work with it. But Reed went to, to, to Kate and was like, Something's not right. Like it, the, the the something for the box is making her dark. She's not sleeping well. Like something's not right here. We need to understand what's going on. Don't encourage her to do this. And Kate was like, "No, nah, fuck that. She needs to do this." And it's not because Kate is saying what you're saying. Kate is saying it because she wants to get Andy back. I think so the that's reasoning doesn't mean. But, but like, the, I think it might. even if let's say that that her mind was like, "Oh, you're right. We shouldn't do this." That would be wrong. They don't have time for, to worry about her mental health, man. We got it. This is not the time for, 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 for thinking about shit. Like, this is the time for doing shit. And, and, so, and wait. So, so, so she goes with this, let's kill it, people. Is that good? Here. Wait, time out. Hmm. Hold on. So it's not the time to worry about her mental health. It's the time for action, right? So when uh, look, she goes out. What? what? <laughs> but, but wait, she almost, this she almost. Wow. Wow. constantly at odds. It's not time to worry about mental health. Okay. She, but so no, we're but just gonna send this child but the, into You this. are weaponizing mutants. But the pro- no, <laughs> that's, not even, but, but that's not even my argument though. My argument wow. is this. My argument is this though. Wow. If you if you if you if you say that forget that, don't worry about it right now, you then let Lauren get on the rooftop with Andy in the clutches of Andy, the Frost, and now Reva in the inner circle. That's my point. My point is you know, yeah, she should be training. Yeah, we need to, you know, not be do- docile. But what Kate is doing, Kate is completely oblivious to the obvious signs. Like, if, if Reed hadn't been paying attention, Lauren's gone. Lauren is with the inner circle. She joins Andy, and they are fucked. That's my point. My point is, like, I, I agree. No, no. They need, like, her learning how to use some discs and cut things in half. I'm like, okay, all right. Her kind of threatening. Kinda nice. I'm like, oh, hey, hey look, you're more than, more than just a defensive wep- uh, uh, power. Okay. Um, but not being able to recognize that, hey, something's going on here. Her always being with that box and always playing that song. Like, Reed, Reed could see it and was like, and, and we also see that Reed knew this because same thing happened to Reed when he first found that box and his father. Uh, and his father found him. Like he knows the power. He knows yeah, something well, is not so right. That, that's a question for me. Why didn't he say something up front? Like if he, like, why try to slow play it? Because I read yeah. stay being an idiot. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> father and son. Father and son. Father. And, father and son. Well, and if you think about it, it's it's a tradition among them. Because remember, his father didn't tell him the truth. He didn't tell Andy the truth. Like they're all, like all nobody's the, all, learning anything. All the Strucker oh. men are terrible. <laughs> all the Strucker men are terrible. All right. So, but you're absolutely right. I, I, I really believe because Reed stays not telling people things, information that they need to know. Um, and he definitely should have shared the information up front. But like, I, Kate is just Kate is Kate is out of control. Like when she was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go go to I'm gonna go talk to my brother. We'll go see him." And I literally put in my notes. It's like to have the confidence of a white woman. Like, just like Kitty and Reed was like, "Yo, your brother only looks out for himself. This is probably a bad idea." 
no, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. I'm like, Kate, every time you say that, Kate, it, it's never okay. Like, I, at some point, I need somebody to point it out on the show. It's like, Kate, every time you say we're going to do this really quickly, and everybody says it's a bad idea, and you say you're going to do it anyway, we always have to come and save. Somebody has to come and save you because it's always a bad idea, and it always gets fucked up. This is not a good I thing. Think- I think Reed knew too. Reed gave her that okay, like, all right, whatever. I hope y'all don't get caught. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. I got you know, he said, okay, he, that me. the heavy sigh. He's like, okay. <laughs> Yo, he really, Reed's living, living that happy, happy wife, happy life <laughs> life right now. He's just like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Like, after, after she snapped on that one time, I was like, no, she needs to go ahead and do that. He's like, you know what? You're right. You got it, babe. You handle it. You do, you do what you want to do. You got that it. That is Fuck. the worst. When a dude says to you, you got it. <laughs> that is like just. Because you do. Because you do. What, we don't got it, clearly. Right, right. Y'all right. got it. Apparently, we Who don't. Who got it if y'all don't got it? Right, right. Nobody, if nobody got it, then you wouldn't have did what you did. Right, right. You didn't want to listen to me, so you got it. You, you good. Yo, you got it. <laughs> you good. You, you, you got my number. If you got any, you got any trouble, I'll, I'll, I, I should pick up, I guess. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Listen, my mom would have been like, go ahead, go see your brother. Don't call me when Sentinel Services has you in detained. Nobody's coming to save you. We ain't portaling in for you. Nobody, John ain't getting shot up again for you. Go ahead, go be dumb. I immediately <laughs> thought of that, that, that Cosby Show episode with Vanessa. It was like, oh, mm, Kate had big fun with Sentinel Services. <laughs> big fun. <laughs> <laughs> go and have big fun with the Morlocks. Right. Big fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yep. yep. Just That's gonna a let her back. Yep. Just let her have it. Let her have it. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> I was also. It's always funny to me because, like, I'm not. I'm not trying to throw a, a random like ship out there, but there is something with Kate. And Marcos, where like it's not like what? a sexual tension, but they have something like they are just too close sometimes and always on the same page about stuff for the most part. You like, like a where they're company. always running it. I yeah, no, you know, you know, it's not. A, but, like but a I'm company. saying they're they be a little bit too close sometimes, and I just be looking at them sideways, it's, like it's, mm, it's not a y'all ship. need to stop. You know what it is? What are they cutting your What are they cutting your ships with? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what it is. It's, it's it's not a ship thing. It's it's the fact that they both have they both have people they love that are over at the inner circle that that basically betrayed them, and they're That's they're cool they're point. they have they have formed a bond kind of over that at least in terms of being reckless as fuck, which we see in the yeah. last episode where we see basically you know fucking Marco's getting shot up and bleeding bleeding light over the fucking place because he's doing something dumb. It's just like they're both reckless because. You love, love me. They say love makes you blind and and dumb, and that's what both of them are doing right now. They're just and not they will whatsoever. support each other in the dumbness. That's what it is. Yeah, they will like both like if no one else will support them. Like he, Marcos be looking at Kate like, okay, let's do this stupid thing, and like Kate be looking at Marcos like, yeah, we're gonna go save her. And I'm like, I don't this weird bonding. It's just weird. <laughs> like y'all need to stop. That's yeah. who she can do hood rat things with. Right. Yeah, she goes, to, she, she mm-hmm. goes to yeah, she goes to the hung back, goes to see the wretched with Marcos. So oh, that's, goodness that's what they do. <laughs> oh my goodness! I was I was hoping to like, you know, and I'm trying to get Marcos and Glow to like, you know, let's, let's, you know, both got light power. Let's get this going, and then stop feeding like, her addiction. What are no, you doing? Like? No, so I like I I obviously <laughs> like Marcos. Oh, I'm sorry, so Shannon. Tris is an enabler. Ain't Wait, no, shit. no, I'm not enabling. No, cause, cause but no, like there's plunge. chemistry no, what is there. Happening? No, I'm not, I'm not wrong. There's chemistry there. Well, and then, oh like, the goodness. way he touched her little, her mark, the way he, like, lit up her little M. And, and mm-hmm. to be fair, to be fair, I got yelled at last time because uh, Shanna is, is strictly Lorna and Marcos, and I was like, you know that glow chick is over here looking at Marcos like he's a snack, so I'm just saying. And turns out the feeling was kind of mutual, but he's over stuck up on Lorna's crazy ass, and oh God, he needs to get over her. It's gonna got him, got him shot in a fucking car. It's like, you yeah, see go. you see what see where this goes. It's like, dude, dude, dude. It, it, it ends with Alex Summers saying the X Men are back. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Like maybe during his funeral. 
Oh my god! <laughs> he just shows he, <laughs> Lorna's ex. We find out it's Lorna's ex from 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 a long time ago. He just shows up all of a sudden. It's like Alex, I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> and just everyone else is like, "Wow, really?" And that becomes a subplot for next season. <laughs> Marco's gonna be like, "I'll be back." Where are you going? I, I gotta go to the tunnels real quick. I think I left something. With no, the- Marco's gonna die. Oh my! I tried. Shane. Why, I'm sorry. why is it always death with you? <laughs> don't. That's all there. I read a lot of X Men comics. They don't end nice. They do be dying. They do. Be dying. <laughs> at, least, at least one X Men dies a year. At least one. I mean, and lots of them like they dying. come back. Speaking of uh, dying, they do uh, come back. They do they really come back. They do. They do. Uh, speaking of speaking of comeback, they definitely die first. Speaking of speaking of coming back, yo, the boys are back, y'all. Cyclops and Wolverine. I'm just. I don't. No, I don't want to. Do, 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 I'm just saying. <sighs> we back. We back. We 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 back in business. Um, all the way back. Uh, it, we all know Evangeline is not dead, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody. No, nobody. Know. No death. Because here's the thing. Have, how how have did, dragon money? Because here, here here's the thing. How? Did but she's Reeve, a dragon, though. But how did we? Black <laughs> have dragon money. So so here, here, here's 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 here, here, here's why I say that. Well, the did, she come back season three with Disney money. <laughs> See now you're. Planning. Here, here's why I say. Here's why I say she uh, she's not dead. One, we never saw her body. Two, how did Riva know that all the heads of the um the underground were going to meet at that one place? If she knew, if she if she and if she could get to each of them at any point, like she could have done that. She could take care of uh, Marcus and all of them at any at any point. How did she know that they were all going to be there at that one point when nobody else knew? What the meeting point is? Remember when they were like, "We can call ahead and call Ev- uh, Evangeline." They're like, "No, we can't call her. We have to get there." So it's like, how did anybody else know? I I feel like there's got to be an inside person, right? Mm. Oh yeah, I I well, I definitely think I just don't trust anyone. I don't trust anyone other than our immediate circle. I I especially because she's working with old boy with the eyebrows. Uh, Riva, and I was trying to figure. He's working with about. the Purify. I was trying to figure. You were talking when you said over with the eyebrows. I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> Peter Gallagher. Right. I don't actually. I can never remember his character name because he's just Peter Gallagher to me. And then, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, there's something going on, and I'm actually waiting for them to tell us what it is because Riva is. It's not even like she's playing chess and they're playing checkers. It's like she's playing chess and they're playing Candyland. She she's a hundred steps ahead. I'm, I'm going to leave out the fact that Candyland can get vicious and agree with you 100. Um, percent I I was I was holding back so long. Like, oh, Candyland's some cutthroat like shit. Can- Someone just going off the uh can the nice. Soft imagery is not like that in the candy land. You can fight over anyway. candy. Land. I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> so is that, the, ne- is that the next fight. movie we're writing? Like the dark version of Candyland? That the it doesn't have to be dark there. version. Just tell about Candyland. <laughs> Shit is dark. <laughs> anyway, DCEU presents Candyland. Um, oh God. Murder verse. <laughs> <laughs> except it, except it all, it's gonna be nothing but candy corn. <laughs> Set, short, bitch. Oh, oh, it could be um, set in the Sabrina verse. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, Reva's got some plans within plans within wheels. And I don't know what her end game is, though. I'm pretty sure uh, old Big and Biggerton's end game is make money. But what does she think happens feeding, like, orchestrating this war? I don't know. That's I, I. I think there's something. Does she think that she, does she think that she's the only one with an ace up her sleeve that she's gonna catch this guy off guard and really flip the tables, or does she like? I, I don't want to be so cynical about Reva because they presented her. Some would say like Jace in a more sympathetic light lately, and so it's harder for me to say she's just being dumb in the situation. You got to think about it. now. She has a, she basically has a terrorist team working with, which is not what she had before. Like. This is this is this is something new. This is something different. Like even when they like when they went to get the Creed financial stuff, they weren't trying to kill anybody there. What she's doing now is she has a she has a group that is apparently did a job where they basically killed a thousand people on a on a cruise ship. So she's now working with people that they haven't really, from what we've seen, out openly used before. 
So what is the end game? My thing is, is it a redirection? Is she, is she going to have them launch this terrorist attack and then try to emerge and try to come out as we stop them? Like what, what? Like what is she trying to do? Like it's, I'm, I'm very intrigued by the possibilities because I don't know. I don't know what the end game is, especially with her working with this purifier dude, <clears throat> who they both seem to be on opposite extremes of these things. What's the, what's the goal here? And I then also have to wonder, it's like, where do the Morlocks fit in this? Because I still do not trust uh, not not Bishop. Why would you trust him? Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah, he is... He's done nothing trustworthy. He's given us that we need him to trust us. Fuck that. Yeah. Prove I'm, your loyalty. Fuck I'll you. Tr- I don't trust no black man dressed as a pirate. <laughs> it's a good policy. <laughs> I'm not discriminating, but that's a good ass policy. Every single one of them, every single one of them. But I'm um, swallow those I, next two jokes I was about to tell too. But mm-hmm. then they say that they they thought that they were trying to hit the government. Maybe they try to topple the government, and then Ryan and Reva rebuild it in their image. But they, but they, but they, but they're so like Ryan's not for mutants, and Reva is a mutant. But, I, I don't understand how that works. Politics. I, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's um maybe they found a, a play, a common ground where one of them is going to try to betray the other one, but they're going to ride together until that point. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I feel like we're also getting to the point where we're getting to almost like the remember the X-Men disappeared when they were fighting what was the Brotherhood, you know, and there was the event and things like that. I'm getting I feel like we're getting to this uh so you're almost like trying to recreate that because you're going to have the purifiers. Then you're going to have this other, this, this mutant terrorist group that's, you know, trying to blow up like government buildings and things like that. It's like, you now have two groups that are going to, uh, are moving towards, you know, a, a, a big bloody confrontation with each other. And like you said, I, I don't think, I don't think that that's really, Reva's real plan. I think that's a plan she wants everybody to think she's going for. Mm. But we've seen Reva. She's she's in control of you know the vast resources of the inner circle and what they've done. And I, I don't know. I'm 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 I don't I don't know what I don't know what she's doing. I just know that what what we've been shown right now, it, it can't be the whole story. It can't be. So I'm really, really intrigued to see what goes on with that. Um uh, oh yeah, we also find out why Erg doesn't trust humans. It is basically because his human girlfriend, like, hey, hey, black dudes, you got us. You're a mutant, but you got a <laughs> white woman, yo. That's just gonna get you in trouble, dude. That's just. Oh my gosh, is anyone else watching the passage? Am I the only? No. <laughs> oh my god. I love, <laughs> I love that show. Anyway, I gotta catch similar. So there was a similar situation with a uh, black man and a white woman. And honestly, like <sighs> y'all's dicks is not y'all's friends. I just seriously stop. Mm. I would like problem. to again go on the record against both those comments and say I love my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I, you, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that worked out for you. <laughs> Listen, but on we're gonna, television we're, right now, we're gonna, not so much. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give Susan a, a little bloody M on her side of her face, like you ain't shit. I quit the podcast. I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this show. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Deep up. Do not laugh. <laughs> they, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. I, I got you. Don't laugh. <laughs> they, they, really, they, they really they really did give Kate m- mutant blackface though. <laughs> Like Yo. she's one of us. Oh, she's shit. one of us. And I was like, "Was that more like face?" I'm like, "I'm like, what are we doing?" I'm like, "What are what are what are you doing?" But you put that M on her cheek, but it's gonna wash away. She's gonna wash it away by the time like, she's gonna take a bath. Like, right. This is gonna I was like, "What is what does that mean, That's dude?" Empty oh, symbolic shit. gesture ever. Like, what are you talking about? It's what does it count if she didn't apply it herself? Like, I kind of, I kind of wanted, uh, I kind of wanted. Uh, Clarice to go to him was like, yo, I just kind of wanted you to apologize. I didn't want you to like put dirt on her face. I didn't want yeah. you to do that. Why did you touch me? Right. <laughs> it, it, is this you? Why did you touch my face? That's a, like a, that's a real inva- inva- invasion. Yeah. Yeah. Did you wash your hands? Did you wash your hands? We you washed your hands? Is, is that, 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 was, it, if it's that was one of those moves where you just look at him like 
if Erg is doing it, it's just like, yo, just let him rock. That's how he that's how he loves people. Like just <laughs> just let him do what he does. Uh, boundaries are a thing. Personal space is a thing. Yo, and if, if and if that's uh, shoe polish, if if the if, if current policies are told us anything, that's gonna be a bitch to get off. <laughs> <laughs> I just like seriously though, Daniel, like I would I would pay you uh money to see you just like put a M on, on Susan's face. You're like, trying to get me shot shot. Okay. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. I it's like, honey, I, I need you. I need you to come here. Oh, don't mind the camera in the background. I just need you to come <laughs> here. Gotcha. Wow, it's just a thing. It's a challenge. J- like Jim- Jimmy, one of them, Kimmel's fa- Fallon. <laughs> it's just a thing. It's just gonna go up on YouTube. We, start we secretly over. recorded men putting M's on their wife's face. And then chanting one of us. One of us. Oh man! Oh, I hate the show. Oh <laughs> God! Well, that'll be one less podcast for you out of the forty-five you do. Hey, look, the sweatshop is real. That you brought on yourself, Chris. Thank I you. think I stand with you. Thank you. Because I've seen I've it. Been, I've, I've been, seen I've it. been podceptioned. <laughs> this is. It, it feels like my idea, but I, it's, a, it's a foreign thought, man. Oh man! I did no such thing. Anyway. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> trying to think what else I got here. Um, oh yeah, like Erg basically took John's girl. Um, oh, Lorna, not great undercover. Oh no, thank you, thank you. Because every time, every time she, she, she's, she's good undercover for like a half a second, and then when she walks away, her face tells everything. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, have you heard of micro expressions? Right. How about you? How about you tighten the fuck up? <laughs> I do leave the room first before you start tensing your shoulders, bitch. What are you doing? Right, right, right. right. You can't see them doesn't mean they can't see you. How old are you? Also, Lorna uh, was like, "I've grown a conscience in these past five days, and now I don't know how to hide anything on my face." I've grown a conscience and lost all nerve at the same time. It's amazing. <laughs> I I love how other the uh uh. Oh boy, was this like, yo, I know somebody's been in a room. I've been in prison long. I've been, I've been in prison enough time to know when my cell has been, my, my cell has been tossed and, 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 and people move things around. I'm just like, damn, dude, how long, how, how, how much time did you spend in prison? Cause that is it's about acquiring life skills. Right. That's, what, that's what it's about rehabilitation. Can you, really. put, can you put that in a resume? Like, it's like <laughs> it's a skill set, knowing when somebody's I'm been in very, obser- very observant. Attention to detail. Mm. Yo, I was about to say. Yep. Attention to details. <laughs> Organizational skills. Detail oriented. <laughs> yep. Detail oriented. Yep. Yep. Oh man. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. And then and then Mark like um, I'm sorry, yeah. Like I was all for the Marcos and, and, and Glow religion really, until I realized that Glow is way smarter than Marcos and Marcos deserves Lorna. Cause why the fuck would you go <laughs> and get this dude by yourself? And then get end up getting shot up in the car. Like, what are you doing, dude? And then the car blows. And like immediately got shot. Like not like, even like sort of kind of. I moment. have to ask, what was the fucking plan? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know what was the plan. Wait, what there was, was the a plan? Fucking plan. Like make him drive you somewhere. Like what was the plan? How would you, you knock him out and steal his car? How about that? No, 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 no. Gunfight in, in, in closed space. Great idea. And then you know, he's he's now dead until now. Reva's definitely gonna know something's up. Like it's just like, who are you? No, it's just another. It's just another coincidence. All right. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain with green hair and floating metal shit. God damn, she's ah. Uh. She's really bad at that. <clears throat> yeah, you know one thing. I you just reminded me. Um, you just reminded me, Deepom. Though the way she used her powers to hack, that was some ingenious shit. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever awesome. seen that. I don't know if mm-hmm. I've ever seen that. I could have used that shit in school. Mm. <laughs> Shit, I gotta use that in, in coding class. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. To actually build something. Like, yo, the fact that she said she can feel the machine and know where the passwords are, I was like, um, I, I need to study up on physics and magnetism to see what the farthest reaches are. But that that's something I've I can say I've never seen the application of those those that power set in that way. I want to say that's like an old school like ability ear for Magneto or Polaris. They've done that. I've, I've, 
I've heard it. It it didn't make sense when I've seen it explained in the comics before, but I've seen it being. Mm -hmm. I've seen it being something like that being said before. So, like back in the day. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, that sounds like heavy nineties, like late nineties, early yeah, where they Y two K shit, where they just made up powers. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did feel. It did feel very nineties, which I'm I'm okay with. Yeah, yeah, that was hell to me. Um. What else we got? You got any you guys anything else? Um, Clarice and John. I mean, what about them? They're not together. The, you mean the former couple? <laughs> John, John, John got the dog. John, John, like John, John Are we just talking about two random people now? <laughs> right. Are <laughs> oh, you talking about Clarice and and, and Erg? Because you know he he he's trying to make moves on her. That know. new hotness. Yeah. He really needs to stop. He's dirty macking, and I don't appreciate it. Well, he doesn't have a relationship with John, so right. The, That's a very good point. He doesn't know him ball. like that. He, Yo, you know, Erg, you know, Erg says, "What does he think about John? Her boyfriend's none of my business." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's what boyfriend? She didn't have a boyfriend right now. She Yo, left. Him. She, she left. Yo, that, yo, yo. Oh, what about Erg? What about John? She never mentioned him. I, I got the best one for this. Clarice says, I got a boyfriend. He says, I got a test to take. She says, what does that mean? He said, I'm just talking about two things we both got to cheat on. So, <laughs> Yo. Yo, somebody sent me that. I was like, yo, this might be the greatest thing I've ever seen. That's terrible. That That's awful. But. <laughs> that's what's happening to Clarice. Right? I mean, but that, but she did break up with John. She did she did break up with John. She broke up with are John. Are they on a break? No, they are. Are they on a break? It's more than a they're break. Done. They're, they're done. So when she walked away, that was it? Yeah. Because we never got anything yeah. definitive. No, it was definitive. She said, I'm I'm leaving you. Oh. See, you gotta, he gotta ask clarifying questions. Yeah, gotta be like, are you definitely. going? Are you going to the Morlocks or are you leaving me? Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. John, John, didn't ask, John didn't ask clarifying questions because he got too sad. He should have asked a bunch of, he should, he should have just been like, baby, 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 no, baby, 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 don't go out. No, no, this is Janet, this is your cheating loophole. The dog misses her. The dog misses her and so does he. <laughs> They're going to get back together. That's his wow. cheating loophole right there. When he finds out, oh, you didn't say you was leaving me. You said you were just leaving. <laughs> boy you crazy it, it's, it, i do feel kind of bad for john because at least at least marcos has like glow who's kind of interested john got nobody but the dog he literally just got the dog and that's it like can you imagine how bad how bad is it like you know it was bad when you got shot up she helped nurse you back to health just to look at you and be like i'm leaving you yeah that's bad it's because he keeps fucking up he keeps being extra I mean, he's a. Leader. It didn't help that Erg put him in his place. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's 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 the other thing too. It's like he didn't just get. They, she just didn't leave him. She left him after her new man basically punched Yo, a hole into, like, into Josh's this, chest. Like honestly, she's endorsing a whole lot of toxic masculinity right now, and uh, I, I don't wrong. know, man. Like Clarice, with some caveman shit. Like mm, you beat up my old boyfriend, so I'm gonna leave with you. Like that's mm, I don't know. <laughs> You're my new boyfriend. Like some penguins. <laughs> right. Yo, why she go? Like I, I don't get it. Like I'm like, oh, it's too dangerous. Now it's too dangerous. Honestly, now, I, now I, it's too risky. I, I, yeah, well, no, to I don't think. I don't think it was that. I think. I think it's. I think she likes the idea of being herself because she kind of said in the next episode mm-hmm. when she was like, I like the fact she enjoys the idea of. Not having to hide who she is, and I don't think that's one thing that John never like addressed. Like there, I think she could probably deal with him being reckless, but she him having being reckless, but then while hiding herself too. And then again, she she took on the idea that it was it was um she was ready to leave him before anyway. She took on the idea that him her not being there with him is what got him hurt. When the truth of the matter is, it was him being reckless. Um, and so. She, if he's going to keep being reckless, she needs to at least be, you know, be able to be herself. And again, the plan, like there's a, there's other thing too. Um, when those other, the other mutants from the other, uh, other underground cells came in, it was like, yeah, so what's the plan? It's like, so we're going to take the, uh, mutant, we're going to take the, uh, the, uh, uh, inner circle head on. It's like, uh, with what army? Like, well, it's us. And then like you made like five. Is that a plan? 
Like this is worse than this. Is like it's not even, it's not even like the it's what the like, twelve. Uh, well, you and me, and then we add two more people. Right. That's like, so then that brings us up to seven. Yeah, it's not. It's not even like the twelve. What was like the twelve percent of a plan that that uh, Star Lord had? That, right. Rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In, 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 in Guardians of the Galaxy One, it's like even they had more of a plan than this. It's like, what do you mean? Like, what what are we gonna do? So, yeah, I um. Yeah, I, I, I think that um, it was just a combination of all that stuff. And it's just like, yo, it's over. Like, John does not want to give up on it right now. But I honestly, at this point, I don't see I don't see what the inner circle could do. Like, the only way the inner circle gets brought down by the underground is if, honestly, if they can flip Andy, Esme, and, and um, well, they already got Lorna. That's it. Like, they have to... The only way this they're they're going to be able to take it down is they keep keep getting uh people on the inside of the inner circle. They have Lorna right now, but she's she better get her ass caught, <laughs> you know. And even like they said, like Reeve is so powerful, she was like, "Yo, she can take us all down herself." So, what are we really doing here? What are we doing? I still, you know, I still believe they'll end up together. Wow. I mean, yeah, you know, I guess it's stage have... four stinging of the grieving process. So, yeah, uh, you know, we're there. But will they be alive? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their graves will be next to each other. Oh my god! Every, everybody the decks dies. for Havoc and Polaris, <laughs> Marvel real number one power couple. Jeez. Um, that's not right. Yeah, no, I, I goodbye. Think... Say goodbye to the nightlight. Oh my god! So, uh, show comes back. Uh, on was it Monday or Tuesday? When does show usually air? Is it Tuesdays? Tuesday, Tuesdays yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, come back on Tuesday. Um, uh, on the run for the last three episodes. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm, I like, I'm really interested in seeing where they go with this because, um, this has been a good season. I don't know what the um range of things like, or if it's coming, if they're going to get a third season or not. I hope they do. Um, because God forbid, I, I, I still see what they're doing. I don't watch the show, but I see what they're doing on Gotham and I don't understand how people watch Gotham, but don't watch the gifted. Like I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> you need another season of the gifted because he basically a leg and become actually a half. I just, even the thought of Gotham just makes me laugh. Did you, did you hear what they're doing with, you hear what they're doing with Batman? With how they're going to do Batman? Let's, let's, no. Oh no, this, no 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 uh, no 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 because every, everybody needs to hear this. They're gonna take what, what, what was the what's the kid's name who's playing Bruce? It doesn't David matter. Mazuz? Yeah, David Mazuz. they're going like to. See, I told you. They're gonna get another actor who's older to to be in the suit, but then somehow use his face <laughs> under the <laughs> under the cowl. <laughs> it's what? And, from, and he's gonna vo- and he's gonna voice over the actor. Yes. What? Yes. yes. Because everything Aww. is awful. If you watch the if you watch Gotham and don't watch Gifted, or you know people that watch Gotham and don't watch the Gifted, you're part of the problem. Tell them to love themselves. Yes. Like no, I, don't. No, no, no. What you do is you cut those people out of your life like a tumor. <laughs> but what? Kind of kind of like what, Jace does with his. Why sponsors. does that make? Why do they need to do? Like why? He, he's supposed to questions be... no questions no one has ever asked in DC. So it's just not even pretend. You know what's been established? Everyone on this call cares more than they do. Let's not evaluate their thoughts. You, I, I'm gonna fuck you up right now. He looks like Grayson from the from the comic where he dropped his Nightwing. He, that's what he looks like. I saw some point reviews. He looks like Grayson. It's so bad. I can we go <laughs> now. I'm mad. I had, I had so much fun until right now. <laughs> Being well, being super right for four episodes, like being the rightest person. I mean, I, yeah. So I couldn't. So I couldn't let you what leave on the high right? note. So super duper right. Yeah, I couldn't leave you. Let you leave on a high note. So I had to come in and, and kind of you know ground you a little. Thanks bit. Thanks for. Nothing. I had to ground you, man. I had to you know make sure you, you know, clip your wings a little bit, man. You get a little too big. <laughs> you know, just had to you know try it out there. Anyway, folks, <laughs> thank you guys very much. We will be back in three weeks to review the finale, the, the final three episodes of the season. It's been a great season again. Uh, if you're not watching, now's the perfect time to watch and catch up. And um, yeah, we will be back soon. Uh, make sure to subscribe Super Tuesday recap. Um, what else we got? Uh, Jeff, what do you guys got coming out on uh, For All Nerds? 
uh, we, we got the the regular podcast every Wednesday. It drops. So um, we also are doing our our twenty eight day profile for Black History Month on up and coming writers, uh, creators, all Black people. So um, definitely check that out. It's a lot. Of, I've learned some stuff from some of the people we put up some so far. There's a lot of uh, young dope Black people doing good things. So um, we're doing that on our Twitter account for at for all nerds. Cool. 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 Um, and I know here we have, uh, <clears throat> second episode, uh, between two palms is coming out probably tomorrow. Uh, Sunday we have a uh, character corner, uh, the first part of Captain Marvel. We're going to, uh, lead into that. We're, we're just doing, um, Marvel first. And then we're also going to kind of lead in with a little bit of, uh, scrolls and, and Cree. And then the second part we'll deal with Monica and Carol, uh, for that. Um, Shannon, what do you guys got? Uh, Supergirl this week? We have Supergirl. Well, Supergirl's off this week, so um, we will be coming back the following week, and we will be next weekend. Uh, we'll, is, we'll be finishing up the next arc of Black Lightning because they're doing these, like, books. So are you, are you staying with it? Or are you guys... Uh, are you staying I... Honestly, have not watched any of the episodes since the last time we recorded. I'm just, I'm gonna. Um, Are you gonna binge it? Hurt yourself a lot. I'm gonna binge. I'm gonna binge it and like, yeah, because that's all I have in me. So, so when are you, when are you guys it. gonna start switching over to reviewing the patches then? Because clearly, <laughs> I think this is coming. Um, that I, I, I see all just depends I mean, on joke, timing. Though? Yeah, that all just depends on timing. But yes, the doctor and I are talking about reviewing the passage because the passage is so flippant. Is that the one with Zach Morris? Yes, and he's amazing. I like MPG. I can't fuck around. I do like MPG. Like, you can't even call it the passage. Like, the title should actually be Mark Paul Gosselaar Raises a Black Child. Like, that's what it is. See, it's, now it's I'm horrible. so horrible. I thought it tell me. Damn, now I'm I gotta in. watch it. I have to. I, watch love, it. I love MPG. Yeah. He's so um, good, and he's like literally like raising this little black girl, and like he instantly man. falls. I'm watch it right after this. Yeah. It's like man, two seconds crappy. into the show, you're like, um, yeah, he's definitely not turning this little black girl over to these vampires because he is already in love with her. <laughs> like he has already decided he is her father. It's so mm. cute. So there you guys have it. So uh, yeah. Um, but I think we become the first Arrowverse show. Uh, Tendler is not even in the Arrowverse, so I guess that's, that we keep our record straight. If we Arrowverse adjacent. Talking. Yeah, so. Um, oh, I also forgot that speaking of Arrowverse, uh, we review the 150th episode of Arrow this weekend as well, so stay tuned for that. Oh, also, uh, UD Pod's coming out Monday. Uh, we're talking trade deadline, we're talking Super Bowl, we're talking um, all the fun things, and I also thought, I don't know how I'm going to work it into the UD Pod, but I'm so sad we recorded Insanity Check the week before Jeff Bezos got that letter. I'm broken hearted. I'm not going to talk about this with you. <laughs> I'm, this is the happiest I've been in a very long time. I'm, well, I'll move on. Uh, so funny story about that. So you know who's on next week? Who? Come on. It can only be one person. If, 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 when when, when oh. disaster oh. strikes, it's you, right? Who's the other person who's only in San Diego? Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> of course it's Joy. Of course. So I said hi, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> So. The real question <laughs> is how many more uh, people's blackface pictures will come out before next week? All of I them. think I'm waiting for my I'm waiting for mine to drop because at this point Yo, I don't I want Drake to drop any. again. Yeah. I want Drake to drop again. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, um, I, can, I, can we remind I, everyone Drake also has blackface pictures? Yeah, I know, I know. The only, the only the, you know, you know, you, you know when this this, this, this 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 will officially this will officially jump the shark when. Uh, they they have to bring up the Robert Downey Jr. quote unquote blackface in Tropic Thunder. Somebody's gonna oh, do it. You know God. it's gonna happen. That's what that's how it always goes. Because nobody understood what Trop- some people don't understand how great Tropic Thunder is. Which by the way, Tropic Thunder will be a nostalgia review at some point this year. So stay tuned. Um, all right, we gotta get out of here, folks. I'm going to school. So again, make sure to subscribe. Super Tuesday recap, and we will be back soon. Thank you guys very much for listening. Until next time, we're out of here. Peace. Peace.